Good morning. How are you this morning? Welcome to today's Daily Insights. This is day nine of our episodes, What Does It Take to Grow? On behalf of Pastor Lucy Painter Daily Insights, this is Jane Lenny. Yesterday we looked at habit number four. In order to grow, we need a caring family and friends fellowship. We looked at commands the Bible has given us as Christians in order to mature in our faith and fellowship with one another. We called them one another commands. We illustrated them as follows. Honor one another, accept one another, serve one another, don't condemn one another, submit to one another, forgive one another, encourage one another, love one another, and confess your sins one to another. Today, we delve deeper in practical ways in developing this habit and figure out how we use it as a tool in our path to becoming spiritual mature. As a tool, I'd like you to start by figuring out who is in your everyday world. Take your time in the course of the day and play a video of your daily life in your mind. You're watching your life in front of your own eyes. So think about the people who are in your life. Think about the people of peace in your life. Luke 10, 5 to 9. These are the ones who want to serve you. If you can't think of any, think, of, think perhaps of the ones who need to know Jesus. Then remember to do these three things. Number one, pray for them. Personally, pray for people in every day of your life. Share your prayers with your soul friends so you can pray and agree with you. If you don't have soul friends, that's okay. From today, start making deliberate actions to change the course of your fellowship life in caring for family and friends. In your everyday imagination movie that we looked at a few seconds ago, that you will watch and also that you will watch in the course of the day, Reach out to the people of peace you will see in your life. As you reach out, pray God's will for them. Pray the word of God over them. We find in 2 Timothy 1, 2, verse 2, 4, Apostle Paul encourages and prays for Timothy. I'll read verse 2. To Timothy, a dear son to me, grace, mercy, and peace to you from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I always remember you in my prayers, day and night. And I thank God for you in these prayers. He is the God of my ancestors, and I serve him, doing what I know is right. I remember that you cried for me, and I want very much to see you so that I can be filled with joy. From this scripture, we see here Timothy and Paul were soul friends. Timothy was a person of peace in Paul's life. Verse 4, Apostle Paul testified of Timothy. I remember that you cried for me, Paul says. He served Paul, and for that reason, Paul was yearning to see him so that he can be filled with joy. Paul prayed for Timothy day and night. So in our everyday life, as we mature in our Christian journey, always pray for your friends and never give up. And these are people who are bringing peace in your life, who are willing to serve you. And as you pray for them, remember to help them. Every week you're encouraged to help or bless at least three people. Help your soul friends, or even someone inside the church, someone outside the church, or someone who God highlights for you. Love on the people in your everyday world in ways they'll appreciate. By helping them, make time for them and don't be pushy. Do the good you know you ought to do. Create or strengthen real friendships. In the same scripture of 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5 to 7, Paul continues to encourage Timothy and help him in his journey towards spiritual maturity. Paul says in that verse 5, I remember your true faith. That kind of faith belonged to your grandmother, Lois, 
and to your mother Eunice. And I know you now have that same faith. That is why I remind you to use the gift God gave you. God gave you that gift when I laid hands on you. Now let it grow as a small flame grows into a fire. God did not give us a spirit that makes us afraid. He gave us a spirit of power and love and self-control. So just like Paul and Timothy, help your friend in their spiritual journeys. We see verse 13 and 14 of the same scripture, 2 Timothy 2. Paul reminded Timothy to follow the true teachings he had had from Paul himself. Follow them as an example of the faith and love we have in Christ Jesus. Paul tells Timothy, protect the truth that you are given. That is verse 14. Protect it with the help of the Holy Spirit who lives in you. So in our everyday lives, remind your friends the scripture. When they seem discouraged, remind them of their faith and God's gifts in their lives. Remind them of what to do. As you pray and help them, welcome them into your rhythms. After you've prayed for them regularly and blessed them in ways they appreciate, Look for opportunity to welcome them into something they would value. Something that would be valuable to them. And the rhymes of our lives include eating, creating, celebrating, recreating, serving, worshipping, working, relaxing, taking a walk, hiking, exercising. Whatever it is that you do in your everyday life, welcome them. Do it together in a friendly and loving way. How do you apply these tools we've discussed today? Welcome at least three people every week into your rhymes. Someone inside the church, someone outside the church, or even someone who God highlights to you. On behalf of Pastor Lucy Painter Daily Insights, this is Jane Lenny taking you through what does it take to grow episodes? Today was day nine of our episodes. Tomorrow, we go to habit number five. In order to grow, we need regular exercise, service. God bless you. Shalom, shalom. <music>